気をつけてここで来たお別れです。行ってきます。はい。はい。Thank you。頑張ってください。Hey guys, I am going on a very exciting trip today. I am participating in the Willer Travel Mount Fuji climbing tour, and if all goes well, I will be at the summit of Mount Fuji in time for the sunrise. If any of you guys have plans to visit Japan and you're interested in climbing Mount Fuji, make sure you、uh, stay tuned till the end of this video, and I will be explaining all the details about this tour and how you can participate yourselves. Hey guys, we just arrived at the fifth station. There are so many people here today. Last time I was climbing, there weren't many people at all, so I guess this is a good sign. It probably means that the weather is looking good. So we've got an hour rest before we start climbing.、I'm、gonna pack up my backpack and do some stretching, and yeah, excited! <laughs> Breakfast of champions. So, as part of our tour package, we got these awesome hiking backpacks, which is definitely going to come in handy if it starts raining.、Um, I think that will protect our gear pretty well. And we got these hiking poles, which look pretty sweet. And we got these boots, which will be nice considering I climbed in Converse last time. I'm climbing with Kasha today from the Uaga Pies. Go subscribe to her channel if you aren't already. Here we go. It is about 11 30, I think, and apparently it's going to take us six hours to get up to the cabin where we're staying for the night. So, for those of you that have been following me for the past couple years, you know that I've climbed Mount Fuji once. I've attempted to climb Mount Fuji once. We only made it up to the eighth station that time because the weather was ridiculously bad. And I'm really, really hoping that it's nice this time because I would really like to see the sunrise at the summit. Fingers crossed it doesn't start to rain. <laughs> okay, he wants to do good, but he's, he's seen what's possible at the end. Guys, we've been hiking for about 15 minutes now, and we're taking a short break. I'm already really sweaty. <laughs> I think we got a long hike ahead of us, but so far it's not raining. Yay! In March? March, so like spring. Yeah. How'd you like it? So, this is where we started, and we are here right now. And the place we are staying tonight is all the way up here. So, <laughs> we got quite a ways to go. 5.3 kilometers to go! Beautiful view down the side of the mountain. So here's where it starts to get a little steeper, but it's not too bad. I remember the stretch between six and seven not being too bad, and seven and eight was pretty intense. <laughs> Five kilometers to go. It's break number two right now, and I'm not sure where we are exactly. That was a good stretch. It felt like a good 20 minutes, maybe longer. The weather is really nice so far. It's pretty foggy,、um, but the fog is nice and refreshing. It's really cool. I saw the summit a minute ago, I think,、um, which was neat because the first time I climbed it was pitch black and I couldn't see anything. So I think once we get through this fog, it might be pretty clear up there. We have made it to the seventh station and From the seventh to the eighth station, it gets a lot rockier as you can see. Kind of need to use your hands a bit. So, along the mountain, they have huts that sell snacks and drinks and gloves, all the stuff that you would need in an emergency. The higher you get up, the higher the prices go. So, If possible, it's better to buy stuff lower down on the mountain and bring it with you. This hut in the seventh station has vegan curry, which is really cool. They also have lots of other menu items, it looks like oden, miso soup, lots of drinks. Each station you can get a stamp like this on your stick. Prove that you've been there. Good. Oh, that's awesome. I'm regretting not buying a walking stick now. <laughs> Chai tea, what's up with the kind of like this? Cup of noodle bread and tiny chai tea. This chai tea is delicious. 
check it out. The weather's so nice that you can see down at the bottom of the mountain. That's cool. We're down to 3.2 kilometers. Only 262 more minutes to go. All right, guys, this hut, what we can see way at the top there, that is our goal for today. So, getting pretty tired. But we're almost there. And the weather is still nice, so I am very grateful for that. We're getting pretty high up now. If you look off the side of the mountain, it's pretty scary. We are staying at the highest hut of the eighth station tonight. Apparently, we'll arrive there in about half an hour, and then we will get like a six hour break, I think, until we start hiking again to the summit. So, yes, looking forward to that. I can't believe how high up we are. It kind of creeps me out when I look over the edge. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> it's getting chilly, it's nice. Finally, I'm starting to feel slightly cold, which is good. Um, up until just a little while ago, it was a bit too hot. 1.7 kilometers to the summit. The gravel is really colorful here. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up, but it looks really neat. Check it out, guys. We made it to the hut that we're staying in tonight. And it's so sweet, they're like bunk beds and looks like there's about five people per little section here. There's some people up in the top over there, more people over there, and they have these curtains to close it off. I am so happy to be sitting down right now. Time to get on For food, we got rice and hamburger and curry, pickles and green tea. I'm so hungry right now. I'm so excited for this warm meal. My hands are really cold, so this is going to be nice. It's very cold, very cold. So please, please prepare your every, every post what you have. I bought some postcards down by where we were eating dinner and they were selling international stamps as well. So. If I fill these out yeah, and get the stamps already, when we get up to the top of Mount Fuji, there's a post office up there. Hey guys, it is 10 p.m. now and I slept for about two hours and then I woke up and it was light inside and I was like, oh my god, did we miss the sunrise? But someone had just turned the light on inside our room. So all is good. It's only 10 p.m. Um, we're going to leave at about 1 a.m. to start climbing again. And then we should be at the top of the mountain in time for the sunrise. Some pretty nice washrooms on the mountain, considering it's a mountain, but um, there isn't much running water, so you won't find any sinks or any place to wash your hands. All right, 1.45 a.m., time to start the climb to the summit. We are just heading up to the Todi Gate at the ninth station now, which means we are at 3,600 meters. Uh, 176 to go? Is that right? I don't know. It's too early for math, but we're almost there. We made it just as the sun is starting to rise. Perfect timing. Hey, hey, yeah. Pacing away. Walking on clouds once again I can work my way up into space and breathe But time cause you know it's free to roam It's our world and mm -hmm. How fragile you I made it guys! I'm at the top of Mount Fuji How cool is that? And we made it just in time for the sunrise it was so beautiful. There's some clouds in the way, so I don't think we'll get a perfect view of the sun, but it's still pretty awesome. It was so horrible to only make it up to the 8th station last time, but this trip was just amazing. Everything went perfectly. Crash made it too. Yay! <laughs> now we are hiking to the crater. Right 
All right, you guys, we came into one of the huts on top of the mountain. I got some Oshiruko. I'm so happy because I was just thinking, wow, I really wish they had Oshiruko here. And one of the stores did. So what this is is a red bean soup. It's sweet and warm. And I am so excited to drink this. All right, it's time to leave the summit, head back down to our hut and have some breakfast. We're back at our hut now and it's time to eat breakfast before we head down the mountain. Ooh. Looks like we have rice and eggs and fried salmon. Well, most of our Fuji trip is over and we're headed down from the 8th station now. Headed towards the 5th station, we're gonna get on the bus. Apparently it takes about 3 hours to get back down to the 5th station. The weather's really nice, it's kind of windy, a little bit chilly up here, but I'm sure once we get down a little bit lower it's gonna be pretty hot again. One thing that I really liked about hiking as part of a tour group is that I got to meet lots of new people and I made some really cool friends. We made it back down the mountain, yay team! And this is the best ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. Alright guys, well that concludes 24 hours on Mount Fuji. I had such an amazing time and I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and experiencing the trip with me. If you would like to experience this whole thing yourself, you can do that. I will explain the whole tour package. This is the tour package that I participated in. It's actually really affordable. I was so surprised and it came with everything that you need. So you don't need to worry about bringing your own gear. You don't need to worry about food. Um, you don't need to worry about a place to stay. They cover all of that and one of the really cool parts was that the guide that was with us spoke English So if you have any issues, you can talk to them in English You don't need to worry about knowing Japanese or anything like that The Willer website has a really cool guide uh, with all the clothing and gear that you should bring when you're climbing Mount Fuji And one thing I would really want to add is sunscreen. I got a horrible sunburn So definitely bring lots of sunscreen and reapply it constantly. Here's the schedule for the tour dates if you would like to join one of these, you can reserve a spot on their website. I will link everything down below, so check out the description box. And if you guys decide to join this tour, please, please, please leave a comment down below and let me know how your experience was. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!